Hey guys, this is Rolf. I'm going to do a quick tour of my small space here, which is uh, where I do proof of concepts, I do testing, um, I do my videos here, I got my desk and uh, with a, a few GPUs that I've got to return uh, for the warranty. Um, Grant here, my son, he helps me out and uh, he's got our dog Levi here uh, hanging out as well. So there's a uh, We've got a, this is a nice area because we can uh, build our computers, we can clean things out, and we've got uh, other things that we do to uh, test and we, we mess around with solar panels and drones and things like that. I'll take you on a quick tour of the uh, first data center that, that we built out. Uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of things that I learned doing this, but my feeling is you always got to just jump in and do it. So uh, this is a, uh, it's about a, it's a small industrial space, I don't know, maybe 1,500 square feet uh, in a small industrial park. Nothing too fancy, but I can drive right up to it. Uh, most of the places have garage doors. You can see that I took the garage door and rolled it all the way up and put an intake vent and an exhaust fan. Uh, it's about a 10,000 cubic feet per minute. The guys next to me do uh, delivery services and they're always repairing their trucks and uh, smoking and all sorts of things out here. Doesn't bother me at all. Um, the kind of people I like. Uh, so let me take you in here to our, our data center. Oh, I'll show you quickly here my network, my fancy network. I got Comcast cable. I tried to bring in a second one from AT&T, but the building wouldn't support it. So I got a backup uh, connection to the internet. It's uh, actually a, uh, a modem, uh, a cell phone modem. It works great. Actually, when Comcast goes down, uh, the firewall flips it over to the cell phone modem and everything keeps hashing. The, um, I was going to just do mining in this space, uh, but the neighbors next door complained about the noise. So I built out a little room to block it off. It also uh, keeps the main part of this room comfortable, so we can do a lot of work here. Um, so I'll take you through this. This is a little bit noisy, and then I'll explain kind of what's going on. So. Uh, here is uh, a rack of ant miners. I think I've got 18. Um, uh, they're ant miner S9s of various speeds and frequencies. And then I've got the different GPU miners that I went through and built. Uh, these are the open rack miners. I built them out of wood. And then finally I decided, hey, I'm just going to buy these metal frames. They work out a bit better. I got an Inosilicon Litecoin miner here, which is OK. Um, I've got a X11 miner and a, a Baikal Giant. I really like that. Um, and here's my uh, exhaust fan, uh, pretty straightforward. And uh, I built a uh, panel to keep the air going through the equipment. Um, so any of the hot air that gets uh, created in here gets exhausted out. The uh, power, I brought uh, six 30 amp circuits at 240 volts AC onto the wall. Um, it would be better to bring him in right above. The, the connection. I've got multiple Ethernet connections running back to my network, and then you can see I've got a uh, I've got the intake here, and uh, the vent size does about 10,000 cubic feet per minute, so it matches. The fan takes a negative suction on the room and uh, exhausts the air. Of course, the problem is there's no filtering, so a lot of the stuff gets into the ant miners and I've got to blow those out with an air compressor uh, periodically. So at uh, the new site, we've got uh, two large intake fans that are filtered. I also started out with these expensive power distribution units that are network connected and remotely controlled and show me the amps. That's overkill. You don't need to spend $600 on a PDU. Uh, just uh, the inexpensive ones are fine. So that's, uh, this is where I learned a lot of different things. I still run it. Uh, I signed a three-year lease on this building, but I also like being here. And um, I, don't ha I don't pay for heat because I've got a few of my first big, uh, these, I started these as Ethereum miners, and you can see they're not open rig miners. They only fit two GPUs. I could maybe put three or four in them. Um, that's the way I started, but I've got three of these sitting around, and uh, they, they heat the place up. I'll put them in the in the cool the room with airflow when the summer comes and I have to run the air. So anyway, to, to finish up, this is how I uh, started up. I, I learned a lot of things. I'm uh, of course 
that's the way you do things. You, you, you just start and you do it and you learn what you did right and you learn what you did wrong and then you apply those lessons uh, to, the, to the next larger thing. And that's why I give the advice of start small. Start with a, a couple minors or two. Make sure you can figure out what you're doing and how it works. Uh, and then if you can control your costs, it'd be wonderful. I have to pay for rent at this space. Um, if I had a, you know, uh, a place that if I owned a, a different business and I had maybe a corner of that business where I could um, just put the miners and things like that and not have to pay additional rent, that'd be awesome. But the, the rent here is not that, that much. And I, the space is in the middle of the building, so I can't upgrade the electricity here without paying a lot of money. So I'm limited to 200 amps. And actually, when I go above about 160, 170 amps, the main breaker outside trips. So I have to find how to run things as efficiently as I can. Uh, I took all these lessons, and then I'll show you a video of the next site that um, we're, we're bringing up and is already up and running. And that is a larger space. It's on the end of the building. It's near where we could bring a big uh, power supply in. And um, we applied a lot, a lot of the lessons that I learned here to that next bigger site. Have a great day.